Hello, and welcome to How Did They Do That? The show where we pick out a small detail, effect, or interesting moment from a game and break down how the game's developer achieved it. In today's episode, we will be looking at Banjo-Kazooie's dynamic music. As you move through different areas in both the hub world and each of Banjo's levels, you will notice the music dynamically shifts to suit the mood of each area. But how exactly does that work? Well, to understand the effect, we must briefly explore MIDI. MIDI is short for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, which basically means a digital representation of note, pitch, key and length. For the N64, these trigger tiny audio samples. Banjo, and in fact, most N64 games, use MIDI for their music, as they're relatively small files and would take up much less cartridge space than, say, a WAV or MP3 file would. A MIDI file is made up of 16 channels, which means you can have a maximum of 16 different instruments in any one track. Well, that is unless you get clever like they did in TUI, but that's a story for another day. For BK, pretty much every piece of music uses all of the channels, but the game is programmed to ignore certain channels at certain times. This is the basis of the dynamic music, and the process is called MIDI channel fading. Take here for example. I'm running through Grunty's lair, and at the moment, it's playing a select few channels. As I approach Mumbo's mound, I hit a trigger zone, and this causes certain instruments to fade out, and others to fade in. It's a relatively simple way to change the mood, but very effective nonetheless. As a final example, each world has both an on-land and underwater variation that will change depending on Banjo and Kazooie's position. I think the most clever part of this is that Banjo's composer, Grant Kirkhope, has written the tune in such a way that even if all the tracks were to be played together, it still sounds cohesive. if a little noisy, meaning that it's left entirely up to the programmers to decide at which points in the level to fade between any of the MIDI channels. So that about wraps it up for today. Is there an effect or detail you've seen in a game that's had you wondering, how did they do that? If so, be sure to leave it in the comments below and we may just cover it. Thanks for watching, ta -ra. break down how the game's developer achieved it.